Hey, hi, Donald. Hi, Adrian. All right. Thanks hey, thanks for here. joining. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. I know it was pretty last minute, you know, when we uh, texted each other and said, hey, catch up and all this. And by the way, uh, today uh, is we are recording on the 14th of June. All right. I know we're a couple of weeks ahead of uh, schedule, but all right. Uh, your birthday was on the 2nd of June. So happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, be you. Happy belated birthday. How old are you now, by the way? Uh, 34. 34 years old. Okay, you and I are not that many years apart. I think I'm 37. I can't remember. 38, 37, something around there. All right, so Donald, you're the Director of Partnerships and Esports over at the gym. All right, now, um, earlier on, I was just introducing the gym, and I went through the website of um, the gym being Asia's first and only esports gym. Now, first off, a gym is for you to work out. And I've gone through the website, what you guys do and all this. Exactly, what exactly is an esports gym. I mean, do you need to do physiotherapy there as what I've seen with other um, uh, esports athletes? So what, what is this all about? Tell us a bit more, please. Yeah, sure. So uh, thanks, uh, Edric, for the uh, introduction. So, um, okay, how the, the gym uh, naming came about, right, is um, it's because one of uh, our boss uh, business partner, yeah, initially uh, he wanted to really just uh, go towards like a more you know, uh, e-sport uh, vibe kind of a name. Uh, but uh, eventually, uh, his uh, friend said, hey, look, there's no gyms nearby and, and it's to build up like, you know, the, the, the e-sport scene, right? And it, it, it kind of have like the same idea of, you know, building people up, not, not just physically. <laughs> yeah, but this one is more towards like the landscape, uh, teaching people skills uh, as well as like, um, you know, having like courses, uh, workshops, anything from tournaments to events to uh, your, your filming, uh, behind the scenes, uh, photo taking. Yeah, we can do almost anything, everything here. So, which is why <laughs> it says the gym, but we added the, at the back, it says eSports Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so for people who, 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 who really taught like, um, it was a gym. There was a couple of inquiries uh, when they didn't really go to our website. Uh, they just walked past and they're like, hey, no, is your gym open? Uh, can I sign up? We're like, uh, you know, what do you want to sign up? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was a couple of it. Uh, but uh, most of them, uh, when, they, when they see uh, the gym uh, logo and then they see the eSports Center uh, wording right below, uh, they, they kind of understand, but they are also very curious you know, what's actually inside this uh, three-level uh, building right here. Yeah, so on level one itself, we uh, actually is where most of the big shows uh, take place. So if you guys, act, uh, if you actually uh, caught us on uh, Twitch, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the gym eSports Center. Uh, we have done a couple of uh, events and tournaments such as uh, uh, the gym uh, Singapore Invitational that was when last year uh, when Valorant uh, you know literally launched right and then we invited four local esports team to compete among the highest standard within themselves and that uh, actually utilized our entire le uh, three levels so level one is where the players are mm -hmm. yeah uh, where the 5v5 takes place where the whole filming uh, and the competition is level two is where we have our uh, game casters uh, in an uh, isolated uh, room uh, so as you know not to have like surrounding sounds and stuff and we also have like an interview area uh, where once a player is done playing at level one because due to COVID right we can't actually put everyone together and we need to limit to 50 packs so from there we'll get the player up to level two uh, while the casters are talking you know, then they see like, oh, the, the player is already up on level two. They will throw it to them. Yeah, then uh, the, 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 the so-called interview will begin. And the level three is where the production and, and, and all the things are going on. And it also goes down to the command room at level one at the back. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of things going on. Right. Yeah. So it's not uh, just a gym whereby, let's say, for example, okay, look. Uh, back in the day, our gym was like a land cafe, right? You just go there mm. and then you just slog it out with everybody else screaming and then after that ordering some cup noodles. Uh. Yeah. But now you have 
you have dedicated rooms. You also have a casting yeah. station. You also have an in-studio area. I, I also noticed that you also do training programs as well. Uh, yes, uh, we do. So recently, I think uh, we partnered up with uh, NTC uh, Enterprise uh, or NTC for the educational portion. And mm. we had a couple of uh, production uh, you know, like one uh, some some off of the basics of uh, how to do like, you know, like a podcast at home or how do you set up uh, a stream at home to do like your Facebook selling stuff like that. Mm. And yeah, we we don't have a license or entertainment uh, to do land gaming here. Uh, so but we actually have a facility, a a a room where we have uh, top of the range um, equipment. Um, mm. you know, like like aftershock PC, top of the line, yeah. BenQ monitors, two forty hertz, zero point five ms, uh, Logitech gears, uh, Omidas. You know, you because players they have different height, right? So they can mm. either adjust adjust the table, you know, mm. to their preference, or they can adjust their secret lab chairs that that right. uh, all of their partners actually come in and help out. So, uh, like some of the teams they actually apply, they send in. Uh, most of them would be uh, on FPS, uh, Valorant, CS, mm. uh, and surprisingly, there's uh, some mobile gamers uh, teams that actually came in here as well. Uh, so we, we just provided them like just the Wi-Fi. They are using literally the same space. Yeah, then they, they hook up, uh, you know, one of the laptops to like the, sc- the, the TV and they do their debriefing right after. Uh, yeah, and there's like a whiteboard for them to do their tactics. They draw around and everything. So yeah, from time to time, uh, it's it's very interesting and 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 good to uh sort of like connect with the ground, yeah, to mm. understand more about like what the players actually need, uh, because uh you know like ten years ago I was a player as well. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, th- that's the thing. You started off with all of that, right? And then eventually you've seen the gaming landscape changed so much, right? Back in the day, we didn't have mobile games, right? Uh, What we had Command and Conquer, there was Street Fighter, there was uh, Warcraft. Uh, This was, again, RTSs were probably the thing back then, right? They were the only things that you could really compete with. And now you've got so many different genres of games. um, And of course, I think right now, there's also another category of of players which are speedrunners but i don't even know whether or not they go to a place just to do it since it's all console based but uh, i digress okay the the thing is from your experience and what you've seen as a past player and you i mean you're training you're teaching people you're also creating an atmosphere for game for the next round of gamers for the next phase of gamers what is the gaming landscape like in singapore now because i would say that Let's put it this way, okay? When we said that, when or at least back in our day, if we told our parents we wanted to play video games, they'll say, you go and find a job, you go and study, you fail, I'm going to throw your bloody Sega out, you know, or your, your computer out. So what is the gaming landscape now, and how do you think pe- uh, locals are, ex- are embracing this a lot more? Um, the gaming landscape has actually changed quite a bit. Uh, if you ta- If you talk about, like, the... Um, you know, the general public embracing it. Um, there's still a bit of uh, biasness right there, you know, like mm. uh, like what you just mentioned, you know, uh, studies and paper, you know, definitely still come first. That is for sure in terms of priority. But, uh, you know, our government has been trying to push uh, the art and culture and mm-hmm. recently gaming as well. As you can see, like, you know, there's events uh, such as like Shine Festival, Happen, happening at Skip, at Orchard, uh, even down at uh, OCBC Arena, uh, where they focus a lot of uh, the, the game events. Yeah, and, and that's done by, you know, uh, uh, Skip itself. And, and Skip is part of MCCY. Right. And, and um, definitely, um, they, they're not all out pushing it yet, but they are definitely keen and interested in um, the landscape where uh, nowadays, uh, it, Gaming, especially mobile gaming, is being used to connect with the youths. Mm. Yeah, uh, because it's very um, functional. Functional in the sense, uh, it's just a very small device. Right. Yeah, and and uh, right now that small device is so powerful that it can play a lot of uh, multiplayer games. 
uh, you know, whether it's MOBA, whether it's first-person shooter, yeah. uh, RPG games, so and so forth. And that has actually uh, created a landscape and stuff like, you know, Skoga uh, going towards uh, uh, guiding the so-called volunteers uh, as well as uh, those, uh, those people that are helping out the youth at risk. Yeah, mm. to, to connect with them uh, by using gaming, to, to learn how to express their emotion, to learn how to communicate with teammates. And, and that, that's some of the hindsights where people actually don't see it, you know, because a lot, of, a lot of times, like when you play games, right, you always think of someone just stuck at home, staring at the screen. Uh, there's little to no interaction, but uh, that has changed a lot. Uh, mm. From the time where I was uh, using a, CRT monitor, <laughs> yep. you know, the huge S monitor, yeah, and ball mouse right now as a wireless mouse. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, and, and the technology has it's just jumped and, and moved so fast uh, that we, we, we kind of uh, uh, still have, uh, oh, oh, yeah, sorry, I mean, although technology has jumped so fast, but our mindset, right, is still stuck, you know, like mm. five, six years ago. It's like, um, uh, gaming is no good uh, here and there, you know, uh, you don't have opportunities, but I feel it's more of a lack of information as well as the stigma. And uh, that has changed a lot. And a lot of uh, organizations like Touch uh, Community, they are diving into games, organizing uh, some of the uh, like like mobile games where, where, mm. where the youth at risk or, or just general public or even the parents to come down, uh, have fun, play together. And I think Skoga has done a lot of this work together with some of the grassroots, uh, whether it's PA, I think with NTC as well, yeah, and 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 Scape. So, um, that being said, um, like, you know, what we're using now, it, it wasn't really there, uh, ten, twelve, you know, couple of years back, and you know, using like a webcam to to stream online. It's, mm. uh, uh, it's not even a norm. But nowadays, right. uh, the good thing about this lockdown is that it pushes a lot of people online. And therefore, uh, uh, people are starting to change their lifestyle a little bit. People are looking mm. at entertainment and, um, in a different sense. They're all using like Zoom, Discord, uh, uh, Skype, whatsoever. You know, they just go online, talk together, or even some families, you know, connecting. Because even the mobile, you can just mm-hmm. face time, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, um, gaming has come a long way. And a lot of uh, people, especially the general public, um, who, who are so-called in, in the middle, they're, they're not sure whether it's beneficial or not, um, uh, they tend to lack all this kind of information uh, from, from the experts 